The normal toy poodle is 10 inches tall in height. This small dog weighs somewhere in the range of 6 and 9 pounds, some even less. Slightly bigger than the toy poodle, the miniature poodle remains at around 15 inches tall and weighs about 12 to 20 pounds. If you're having a tough time making a decision between the toy poodle and the miniature poodle, and which will fit best in your home. Look no further, in today's video we will be comparing two wonderful dog breeds, the toy poodle versus the miniature poodle. Let's find out exactly what makes these two popular breeds so special. If you would love a simple dog training strategy that will develop your dog hidden intelligence and create the obedient well-behaved pet of your dreams, click the link in the description to purchase this strategy. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're interested in getting useful tips and guides about your dogs and cats that will make you be a better pet owner. Let's dive in. Toy Poodle vs Miniature Poodle History the historical background of the miniature poodle and toy poodles are blended in with the history of the register-sized, or standard, poodle. The standard poodle is an old European dog breed, utilized for hunting and recovering waterfowl. At the end, these canines turned into the canine companion of choice for French royalties, and through that, it became the national dog of France. Standard poodles have been around since the 15th century, by the 18th century, they were the principal companion canine in Spain. Beginning in the 18th century, small miniature poodles began becoming well-known as companion dogs in French royal homes. And in the 20th century, toy poodles began being reared in the US as a decent dog breed for individuals who lived in cities. Each of the three sizes of poodle are recognized by the American Kennel Club and the British Kennel Club. Both the miniature and toy poodles are basically viewed as smaller breeds of the standard poodle and are breed to similar principles. However, studies show that miniature poodles from North America might be a distinct variety compared with standard poodles. Toy Poodle vs. Miniature Poodles Temperament The toy poodle is an astute, enthusiastic and loyal buddy. Furthermore, as one of the most intelligent dog breed, they're likewise easily trained. The toy poodle can be great with kids however, is typically suggested for more older children. Small kids may incidentally hurt this little puppy with rough play. If the poodle hadn't been trained properly, it can show upsetting conduct, including growling, snapping, and anxiety. Miniature poodles are incredibly savvy, versatile and easy to train, so it's nothing unexpected they were once famous circus dogs. Miniatures love being around individuals and can shape bonds with every individual from the family, and they tend to be friendly to outsiders as well as different dogs and pets. Miniature poodles are viewed as ideal family dogs since they're patient and playful with little children for all ages. Toy Poodle vs. Miniature Poodle Appearance Standard poodles are, has a height of more than 15 inches at the shoulder. They set the size standard for poodles in general, in that different kinds of poodle are contrasted with the standard poodle to figure out which breed they are. Miniature poodles are between 11 to 15 inches at the shoulder. Toy poodles are significantly more smaller than that, at 10 inches tops. Size is actually the main distinction in appearance between these dogs. Every one of the three breed convey a similar authority breed standard. They have curly thick hair and are typically of solid colors. Blues, grays, silvers, tans, bistro olate, apricot and creams, some of the time in differing shades. Poodles carry themselves proudly, look ready, and are richly proportioned. Toy Poodle vs. Miniature Poodle Exercise Both toy and miniature poodles ought to have some exercise consistently and a lot of mental stimulation. As hunting, working canines from their past, they can get handily exhausted. They have a high energy level and love action. They can be significantly more energetic than the standard poodle. The two poodles might benefit from fetching games and strolls with their owners. They will most likely appreciate swimming and retrieving. All things considered, due to their size, their activity necessities can be unique. Miniature poodles will have to extend their legs, somewhat more than toy poodles. Indoor play and short excursions outside may be enough for the little toys. However, these two dog breed will require a lot of mental exercise. Activities that involves agility, obedience and tracking exercises are perfect for the their mental and physical bodies. Toy Poodle vs. Miniature Poodle Health 
both breeds with proper and healthy lives will live up to 10 to 18 years. Strangely, the miniature poodles have more hereditary diversity than standard poodles. This might make them more healthier than their bigger partners. In any case, you should realize that toy poodles, due to their little bones and size, are bound to experience the ill effects of injury. Their size makes them more delicate than miniature poodle. Toy Poodle vs. Miniature Poodle Training It's important that all dog breeds are trained. And this is more effective when they are still young. Having a well-trained dog can make life a lot easier at home. So how easy are the toy or miniature poodle breed to train? Well, as we all know both are very intelligent pet dogs which can really help ease the training process. Because both are so eager to please their owners, you have a winning combination. If you would love a simple dog training strategy that will develop your dog hidden intelligence and create the obedient well-behaved pet of your dreams, click the link in the description to purchase the strategy. Toy Poodle vs. Miniature Poodle Grooming Grooming is an important factor to consider when you own a dog. With furs like Miniature and Toy Poodle, this is no easy task. Although, neither of these varieties shed frequently, they truly do have thick wavy fur that needs a great deal of care to avoid matting. A few owners avoid this by cutting their poodle's fur short. Everyday brushing. However, to do this, you'll need to be ready to groom your miniature or toy poodle every day. You want to prep your poodle's fur the whole way to the skin to forestall matting near the roots. On the other hand, many individuals decide to take their miniature or toy poodle to a groomer so they don't have go through the stress. Alongside fur care, you should consistently manage your miniature or toy poodle's nails and check its ears for abundance wax buildups. Toy Poodle vs. Miniature Poodle Lifespan If you notice, in many dog breeds, you will see that the larger dogs have a lot more limited lifespan. The poodle breed is different. Although, the lifespan of a miniature poodle is more limited than the lifespan of a toy poodle, the difference is not a lot. The miniature poodle just has a marginally more shorter lifespan than the toy poodle. The normal life expectancy of a toy poodle is 14.6 years, and the average life expectancy of a miniature poodle is 14 years. Toy Poodle vs. Miniature Poodle Price Toy poodle puppies will quite often be more slightly costly than the miniature poodle pups. The normal cost of a toy poodle is $2,840. The normal cost of a miniature poodle is $2,560. The reason for this is because toy poodles give back than fewer puppies than the miniature poodles. This makes the supply of toy pups low and therefore the price high. There is a wide range in the cost of both miniature poodles and toy poodles. This is because the distinctions in costs for poodles are connected with how much health testing was done on the pair and canines and whether or not the guardians were show champions. You will usually see various costs for show quality and pet quality poodles. Assuming you intend to rescue a poodle, the price will be similar for a standard and a miniature poodle. Which breed makes a better pet? Is it safe to say that you are as yet not certain which poodle breed is right for you? Both the miniature poodle and toy poodle are very much alike canines, with the fundamental differences being their size. These breed each require regular exercise and grooming, so they are not low-maintenance dogs. In any case, they are both people-oriented breeds and are great for families ready to give them care and love. If you enjoyed this video and you would love to see more amazing videos on your dogs and cats, subscribe to the channel, give this video a like and turn on the bell notification icon. Thanks.